Hey guys, what is up? <clears throat> today I'm back and I was thinking of something fun that I could do today. And so, um, if you guys don't know, I love playing with Legos. And so, um, for Christmas as like a stocking stuffer, I got one of the minifigure packs. Um, that you guys are probably wondering why am I talking about what I got for Christmas, but um from the minifigure pack I got this guy. He's like a futuristic, I guess, like assassin, bounty hunter guy. And I was thinking he looks sick. So today, what I will be drawing is I will be drawing a Lego guy in a comic book style. So I got my trusty sketchbook again. Oh, and someone flipped right to the page of the drawing we did yesterday. I'm going to finish coloring the blacks. This is what it looks like. And so now... Wow, it's only drawing for that, you guys. Okay, sorry. Okay, so... So today we will be drawing this cool futuristic bounty hunter guy as a comic book style character. So, with that being said, let's get started. So first we gotta think of like a dynamic pose to put him in. Because I really like drawing cool different poses and that sort of stuff, so. His helmet kind of reminds me of a Mandalorian helmet. Like, the shape of it. If a Mandalorian helmet had pointy ear things. <laughs> pointy ear things. Yes, the Mandalorian helmet definitely has pointy ear things. So we're working on the helmet right now. Let's see all the detail it has in there. Because it actually has a lot of detail, honestly. Gotta take a good look at the detail it has. Okay. Now, um, since I have so many Legos, um, I could do this over so many different guys, but I just saw this guy and I was like, oh my gosh, that guy looks sick, right? So, like, I was just like, I need to draw this guy. <clears throat> but since I don't really draw, like, in a Lego-esque style, since I draw, like, a I basically draw either comic book or realistic. I can draw both. I like to draw both. So, um, I was just thinking, how would I try drawing this guy in, like, a comic book style drawing? Like, to, and I was like, I'm actually using... Um, I'm kind of actually excited to see what this one turns out to look like. Because I've never really tried this before. I've kind of tried it. I kind of tried it when I was younger, and I wasn't as good as an, of an artist as I am now. S but this one's definitely going to be, like, it's going to have a better final product. So... So yeah, I was just thinking it would be really fun to draw this guy. And I don't really know why, but I thought it'd be cool to draw him, like, traveling through a forest. Like, holding onto some, like, tree branches, I guess. <clears throat> As he travels. Maybe probably to find a, find a bounty. That he needs to catch. Or wants to catch, technically.
Okay. I don't really know what pose I'm drawing him in exactly. I'm just crawling him like, I'm not crawling him. I'm, kind of, I'm just like drawing him. Like I said, the climbing through a forest, I guess. Kind of reminds me of the pose I did from, on my Simon Baz yesterday. A little bit, except in the last one, he was like, actually climbing on some. No, he wasn't climbing on something, sorry. He was holding his Green Lantern power battery. This guy's like a cool symbol. I'm also adding some details that aren't in the drawing, but they add, they like, they make it look cool. Like, I'm adding, giving me, like, wrist blasters right here. Okay, so I really like how this one's turning out. He looks like I really like how he's looking because, like, the detail in it. I was thinking of drawing this hand like this way. And it's like popping up with a little screen showing like his bounty, I guess. Yeah, I guess it could show his bounty. in the actual set it came with this little piece that you he you could put in his hand it was like a transparent red piece that like I said like wanted and it was like <clears throat> and it like showed a little Lego guy said draw like an alien guy i'm actually drawing an alien guy i designed in a comic book i've been working on his name is fortor and he's also a bounty hunter he's a bounty hunter that has a bounty on him that's convenient why doesn't he just hunt himself <laughs> So, kind of looks like Club City, honestly, but that's not where I got my idea. I'm pretty sure I, start, I started making this comic before Avengers Infinity War even came out. 
Actually, no, I didn't, but, um, it's a good idea anyway. Just wanted for sure. And it'll be like. So, I really like how this hand is like pointing downwards. Okay. Okay, adding some like detail to the tree. <sighs> adding some more detail to the legs. And adding some detail from the actual minifigure on the legs. I'm gonna give them like pockets. I don't know why, I just feel like it gives a cool effect. Sorry. Okay.
I also just find some more detail to add because I really love drawing detailed things. Speaking of detailed things, I'll just add some more detail to this and then I'll show you guys something. I've been working on for a while yet I'm still surprisingly not done with it yet. I'll just give you one hint, it's my drawing of Galactus. Yeah, my most detailed drawing. Well, my... Probably, it's probably the second most detailed drawing, I guess. Because Boxer Rush drew the most detailed. Okay, so guys, before I show you guys, so this is my final product of um this cool bounty hunter futuristic dude now well, actually sorry i need to add some more details that are on the thing that i forgot to add i have to make sure i get as many details in as i can Okay, now, okay guys, you get prepared, okay, this is the head, this is the body, and these are the hands, so I taped three of these papers together, it's a really, really tall drawing, I'm pretty sure, no, it's not taller than me, not, not, not that tall. Oh, I'm not that tall, but okay, sorry. I'll fix it later. Okay, hey guys, that was me doing the Lego character art challenge. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and please subscribe.